The Bethune and Frank Church writing table is a testament to the life and work of Idaho Senator Frank Church, one of the most courageous legislators in American history. He battled and overcame odds. He grew up in Boise. He fought in World War II. In 1956, this 32-year-old Democrat ran for the United States Senate, despite never before holding public office. He won and was re-elected three times, serving the state until 1981. His impact was felt. Church helped define a new course in American policy. He played a role in passage of the 1957 Civil Rights Act. He was one of the first senators to oppose the Vietnam War in the 1960s. In the 1970s, the Church Intelligence Committee opposed lawlessness and abuse of power by U.S. intelligence agencies and the executive branch. He said, Crisis makes it tempting to ignore the wise restraints that make men free. But each time we do so, each time the means we use are wrong, our inner strength, the strength which makes us free, is lessened. In the 1960s, Frank Church worked to create the largest system of protected wilderness areas in the nation and helped form laws such as the Wilderness Act and the Wild and Scenic Rivers Act. In Idaho, he worked to establish the Hell's Canyon National Recreation Area, the Sawtooth Wilderness and National Recreation Area, and in his last year of office, the nearly 2.4 million acre Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness, the largest wilderness area in the U.S. outside of Alaska. Sit at the writing desk and imagine how Idaho, the United States, and the world would be without the ideas and actions taken by Frank Church. Also, read the quote on Anne's diary, which has been published in over 60 languages, the most widely read book by a female author. The impact of thoughts and actions can be profound, whether by a U.S. senator or a young girl in a war-torn country. This space is designed for you to sit, write, reflect, and be inspired. Frank Church said, It's never too late, nor are the odds ever too great to try.